everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Melanie and I predominantly do daily vlogs during lockdown self-isolation normally I do weekly which one day I will hopefully return to I also do what I like to refer to as my other content which could be anything from unboxing a beauty box to trying something on camera for the first time to showing you what I've been buying from an experienced story time kind of video to doing a face full of the same brand of makeup, updates, that kind of thing. I also do food hauls, which is this, which this is related to. So I think it was about two weeks ago I got the Max and Spencer's food box and I did a standalone video for that. And I also had the Morrison's one which went in a vlog because I'd been up all night and I couldn't think clearly enough to do a standalone video. So I've been looking online to see what I can get and one of the things I saw was the Marks and Spencer's fruit basket and I saw this a couple of weeks ago, I think before I actually even got the Marks and Spencer's food box and when I first saw it, it had three reviews and they're all positive and I thought oh I'll give it a go um, and then a couple of weeks later I went on and it's got 200 positive reviews I think it gets between four and five star, but the majority give it five star. And it just shows how many they're actually selling during what's going on at the moment. So I think I bought this Monday really late on, like 10, 11 o'clock at night. And it arrived this morning, Thursday. Although I've only just got it inside because I was in bed. Um, but yeah, it comes like this. Big brown box. At the side, it's got... At the side it's got this per perishable fruit box, keep box upright. It wasn't upright, it was stood on its end, but yeah, so it's still taped up. I'm going to undo the tape, then I'm going to show you what's in it. So we're about to see this together at the same time. Also, it does tell you what is in the box, but it does say that some items could change depending on what's in stock at your local M&S. So, I know what's in here, and I'm kind of hoping it's identical to what's online. So, we've got some airbags. Some bubble wrap. Oh, I'm, I'm glad that we've got the red grapes because I don't like green grapes. They give me belly, they give me bad stomach ache. That is a nice grape. So we've got grapes. It's coming with, that's handy. Do you know what? I don't have a fruit bowl because I'm using it for stuff. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just eating the grapes. Oh, two lots of grapes. I'm very happy now because I love grapes. We have four pears. I like pears and so does my dad. So I'll probably only keep one and give the rest to him. We have some either mandarins or clementines or tangerines. I'm not sure which one they are. Plums is an, another favourite of mine. I absolutely love plums. They're not ripe yet. We have, I think we're meant to have about six or eight of these. I think there's six. There's one escaped over there. And then we have some bananas. Which are probably going to have to be eaten quite soon because this is how I like them with a tiny bit of green on. Sometimes I like them with a little bit more green on. So I may have to start eating them pretty soon. But there's two, four, six that I can see in there. And then we have the plums. So there's one, two, three, four plums. There's a pineapple. I love pine. I love pineapple. I wish the plums were ripe because I'd be on them straight away. And the pineapple isn't quite ripe. 
we have a mango i forgot there was a mango i'm really happy about this i wouldn't actually make mango chicken um probably at weekend yeah that'll last um it's thursday as i'm filming this so i'm gonna have mango chicken on saturday or sunday and then we've got apples which i personally don't eat i struggle to chew them um i like um i actually like if i ever have if i ever have an apple which is very rare i like golden delicious and every now and then a pink lady goes down well but i believe these are either rayburn or gala i think the rayburn because i like gala apples so there's some nice apples in there and that i literally am going to eat all the grapes That is the content of the fruit box, which I'm very, very happy with. I don't know where I'm going to put it on. But I'm very happy with the contents of this box. What I also like about it is the stuff you can eat now and the stuff that you're not going to be able to eat for a few days whilst they ripen up. The only disappointment is, is the bananas. I would have preferred if they came either fully green or with a lot more green on. Because I'm going to literally have to start eating them. And I've already got some bananas in, which I think I'm going to freeze. Because I can then use them in smoothies. But these I want. I want to make some banana bread. Even though it's almost impossible to get a banana bread tin to bake in. So might end up making some banana muffins at this rate so this is absolutely everything in here i'm really pleased with the contents i've literally got everything that it tells you you're going to get it does say it's subject to change depending on stock but you know this is really basic stuff that most supermarkets have in anyway so they were bound to have it all in and i love how it's all sectioned off like this i like that the grapes come in these little brown bags and there's one there they don't look like there's as much grapes in this side but there probably is and i'm a big fan of grapes and yeah i just like how it's all come all i would say is i would have preferred greener bananas but i still probably would give it five stars out of five because it's just personal preference some people would probably prefer them like that just means I'm going to have to eat them quicker or bake them or freeze some of them. So, yeah, this is what you get in the Marks and Spencers fruit box. They do veg packs. I almost got one, but one of them's got leeks in and the other one's got something I don't like. So, I don't like leeks and the other one's more expensive, but I feel the cheaper one's better value, if that makes sense. If you have any questions, which I don't think you will because this is pretty, pretty self-explanatory... Please leave them down below. I have had Max Spencer's fruit before. I do go Max Spencer's every... I used to go weekly. Now I go every now and then. And I always go in the fruit section to see if there's anything on offer. Because they do Super 5. Like the supermarkets. But I think they're a little bit more expensive. I think they're like 60p or 65p. But Max Spencer's fruit and vegetables is really, really good. I do rate it, but it can be a little bit pricey. I typically will get things like strawberries or blueberries. That's the main thing I do pick up because they do massive packs of them. So I know these are going to be really good. Well, I know these are going to be really good quality. They're going to be tasty. I love that there's a pineapple in there because I do. I rarely ever pick pineapples up in the shop. So it's a nice little treat to have. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I'm potentially going to have maybe some of it, cook some of it with something. Um, I might chop it up and have it as a snack. The mango is going to be mango chicken. I love mango. As I said, I won't be eating the apples. But yeah, that's everything that's in there. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification to get an alert every time I upload a similar video. I'll be back very soon with my next video. Thank you for watching.